folks, how are you doing? So this is kind of a quick little intro into the new place. Sorry I'm not on the other side of the camera, but then again, you don't want me to break it. So as you can see, yeah, pretty good size. Uh, plenty of work to do, as you can tell with these bushes and trim down here. And you can see we've been already done some yard work. Uh, we got some room to do, or some work to do with the fence here. That door is a little wi uh, weak. It's kind of falling apart. And here we've got our uh, uh, our little screen room. Uh, it's still winterized, and it's missing a couple of screens or any little TLC. Kind of the view of our drive. And again, been doing yard work. Lots and lots of yard work. We're going to have tons of yard work, uh, as you can see with all these bushes, which I just recently cut back to nice round shapes for this time. Uh, this bush out here, I gotta really do some work with. Um, but I definitely thinned down over here. This was just a mass of plant material in here, and now it's at least. Uh, shapes and you can walk in and walk in between everything. Again, plenty of yard work left to do. So, let's come on in. And we're inside. Nice little landing. Yeah. Half up, half down. My wife's laughing at us. up into our upper living area. And so of course will be the living room for us. You know, couch over here, TV kind of replacing that mirror over that fireplace. It is a working gas fireplace. We probably won't be using it much. And then in here comes our waiting area right here. What will be a dining area right here in front of the kitchen. We will get a TV mounted on this side, connected to the same AV system as the front side, so that no matter which room you're in, but there's no reason to have different channels with the open air, uh, you'd have competing programs. No, no point in doing that. Our sink, this will be coming out very shortly. Um, the cabinets will probably stay, but there's a lot of work to do under here. There's leaks and all sorts of nastiness. Uh, our little island for our kitchen, our cooktop. Um, not our favorite design, but it does draft down. Uh, this is a nice little dra draft down here. Uh, original microwave and oven. Uh, they still work. We'll keep them for the time being, uh, considering that we're just bought into this and everything else. We've got to be careful about how much we spend everywhere. This will be where our brand new fridge goes in and we'll be getting that in about two or three days. Oh, I'm sorry, it's about seven days. Uh, nice little laundry area. Brand new sink, brand new cabinets. No sense in tearing this out. It's, it looks good. It's different than what we've, we're used to, but we'll use it. This is our kind of our formal dining area. Uh, yes, you'll notice that the light fixtures in all the rooms are a little bit different. Um, over here, you'll notice this light fixture matches the new far more dining room, but you have the old fan. Uh, yeah, I, we don't like the brass look, and most people don't like the brass look anymore. Plenty of light looking outside. And back to the living room. And of course, another pa passageway. And our deck, which has got some work to do as well. Um, that stairwell is not very well secure. We're going to have that worked up. Um, as I said, plenty of yard work, lots of trees, it needs attention. Little cubby hole kind of closet. Not really a coat closet because there's no hangers or anything, but just kind of general storage. And in the master bedroom up on the first, on the upper level. Nice little bay out here. Nice view of everything, including the neighbors. Hello. Uh, and hello. But 
Obviously, we'll get some curtains installed here. Nice raised ceiling. And then, of course, uh, yeah, this is where the brass really comes out. We don't like this, but we got to make our make what changes. Jacuzzi, uh, jetted, jetted tub, so really nice. Uh, needs a cleaning. Uh, hate the brass. Uh, his and her, no problem. Uh, shower, yeah, needs a little cleaning. And we'll probably actually put some new tile in to brighten it up, bring some color out. Yes, the most used room in the world. Including this neat little, we still never quite got an idea what's going on here, but we'll use it because there's plenty of shelf space. Okay. Back through here. Oh, and we have our little walk-in closet. Let's see if the lights work today. Yay! Uh, a lot of the light switches here are a little <clears throat> testy, as you can see. Uh, you have to actually hold them in place. But more than enough room for my wife and I to put our clothes. And that's just the upstairs. Oh wait, we haven't even done the second bedroom up here. Let's go over here. Looks like someone had speakers at one point. Here's the second bath upstairs. Ooh, flash. And as you can see, uh, mostly not brass. Yay, we don't care for it. A little brass here. This needs a little touch up, but this is much better condition than the other bathrooms. This will probably be our primary once the toilet's fixed. The toilet's kind of needs some stabilization. Another neat little closet. This will probably end up being more of a linen's place. And then the other bedroom upstairs with his own nice little closet and view outside, which we'll have to put up nice curtains and everything else. As you can see, it's kind of a nice view, other than the fact that the, they've been doing some road work here recently. And... Let's see... And down the stairs... And this is the second living area, which we've actually started using. And say hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, kind of our little staging area for a lot of the stuff and just time to relax and everything else. Um, but as you can see from here, you know, we have a little little deck, or little, you know, right under the deck, there's a little patio kind of area, which can get cleaned up from the debris. And over here is our screen, screen porch, which you saw from outside. Uh, this will be a little TV nook. It'll be have a bigger TV than that. It's just what we have. And this is where I spent my first night here. We'll see if there's better accommodations in some of the other rooms. But, not, you know, covered up by bushes, a little privacy, ACs. Grab my belt. Here's the second bedroom downstairs. A little different, a little different arrangement, particularly with this little cubby hole over here, the closet, and yes, more brass. Oh, lovely. But it's a similar kind of view. Actually, you can see our neighbor's yard a little bit, and you can see that he's actually got some flowers growing. So, uh, hopefully, between the two of us, we'll have a really nice cul de sac down here. Uh, a nice little linen closet right here, kind of dark. Here's the third bath. This one's actually the cleanest of all of them, so naturally we give it to our mother. Um, that's fine. Uh, everything in here is functional, Every, there's no problems. So yeah, this one's the one that's ready to roll. And this will be mom's room. She'll have a nice wide set of windows. She does not use the air mattress. We just are using it to kind of give us a dimensional feel as to how things will fit. 
but you know we have this nice rail that, which is in several of the other rooms here uh, very nice and then of course yet another closet plenty of closet space Let's see if this light behaves hey no problems and that's mostly the quick tour uh, we'll quickly walk through you over here Oh, and you know, this being mom, what's slated to be mom's living space, we have at least a start of a wet bar here. You know, we've got the nice thing, fully functional. We could probably put a small fridge in here, maybe a little cooktop here. Uh, and then she won't use these because, let's face it, she's short, and between the edge here and up there, it's a little high. Uh, the only other thing we got here is our garage, our nice three-car garage, which is more than what we've had. Uh, as you can see, my wife, well, actually I parked that, but that's how we were generally going to have her car parked, right up close so that you can actually get at the trunk. Uh, but full set of, full, full enough room for her car, my Subi, trailer, and my motorcycle, plus any of the yard stuff that we need to do nice little utility closet and then much like above a little hidden storage nook <sighs> which you can see the tub so we can check for leaks very easily we know when it's bad but at the same time most of our plumbing's here and would make a neat little storage area for uh, rarely used stuff like maybe the Christmas stuff And that is pretty much the tour. Uh, I could take you out back, but that's, that's a mess. Anyway, that's the new place. Hope you like it. We do.